This is Terry McDade, aka the Pirate Hunter, and this is an inbox kit review of a Revan resin kit of General Lewis Armistead from 1863. This kit is made by Michael Roberts Limited Fine Military Miniatures. The kit number is CW12. I bought this kit from lastcavalry.com, which the owner, Dave Youngquist, after I had ordered it, I got a phone call from a number I didn't recognize, and there was a voicemail, so it was from the owner, uh, David Youngquist, explaining to me about when he had, was going to ship this and everything else. So I called him back and had uh, quite a conversation with him. It's really unusual for a business to call you and explain when they're going to ship it and when they're going to do this and when they're going to do that. So I would suggest, if you get a chance, to go to his website. It's lastcavalry.com. He's got a pretty good set up of uh, resin accessories, Fred Arish's Rex uh, accessories, the plants and this. So go check it out, uh, see what it's like. Like I said, it's a pretty good website, and the guy's pretty good to deal with. So let's look at the kit here. The box has just kind of filigree stuff on it. It's got what it's got on the the information on the end on the kit. It's a color picture of General Armistead. This was uh, the most famous one from when uh, he led the charge at Gettysburg. Comes with this. Has a set of directions and it has a parts list on it. Uh, sculpt Sculpted by Mike Stelzel, uh, Brigadier General Louis A. Armistead, CSA, Gettysburg, July 3rd, 1863. Uh, read all instructions before starting. Test fit all parts. Standard uh, issue on it. Uh, attach head, legs, haversack, binocular case in any order. Attach spurs. Measure cut and attach plastic strip. To fit between the ends of the binocular straps on body and binocular case. Attach arms to body and hands with sword and scabbard to arms. Attach sword knot to sword. Measure and cut sword slings to size. First sling should be approximately one half inch. Second sling approximately one inch. Cut and split hooks on end of slings. Attach slings to points on body. Short sling on front. And hooks to rings on scabbard. Press hook halves together on rings. Place hat on sword, attached to base. Painting, it gives you the color call out for the coat, the trousers, the hat, belt, straps, bino case, and haversack, the sword, the scabbard, the boots, uh, the body, it gives you a parts list, body, head, arms, legs, hat, haversack, binocular case, spurs, sword scabbard, sword knot slings, and base says if any part is found to be missing or defective please call write or call for a replacement gives has a caution care should be taken when working with polyurethane resins dust created by sanding can be irritating do not expose to open flame heating can cause resin to become soft has a list of the other kits that he has and then down here it says send a dollar for a listing of additional kits and current prices uh, Michael Roberts limited products are of federal laws and this is from 1994 the kit I've looked at this kit and it's a pretty good looking resin casting here this is the base that shows General Armistead standing on and the rocks have a pretty good amount of detail on them uh, there's stuff laying on the ground from uh, the battle on it. It's got a really pretty good amount of detail. A little bit of sanding on the base which is no big thing to smooth it down. This has the sword, comes with the sword on it and it is a white metal sword. So uh, for the hand on it, the hand's got this uh, it's fairly good, kind of good detail on it. 
the sword has pretty good detail on one little thing needs to be cleaned off. The sword scabbard is resin with a hand attached. So it's got a pretty good amount of detail. I'll have to have a little bit of cleaning on it to clean it up. I haven't looked at this one yet other than just to open it up and look at it real quick. I haven't looked at the kit here. The body has got a pretty good amount of detail on it. It's pretty crisp detail on it. There is you know, on the ends here, a little bit of work that'll have to be done on it. The where he's talked talked about where it needs to be attached and where the sling has to come down crossed here on it. Well, you know, on that. The hat has a really good amount of detail on it. There's the hole through it that the sword goes through. It's a little bit closed, but it's no big thing to open it up. The where that's been cast, the boots have good detail on them. There's no far, no excessive amount of flash. A little bit of cat mold line on this, but nothing, nothing serious. Where it's got to be trimmed to fit. This has then the arm is open for where the off the hands to fit down inside there. This leg is the same. It's got to be cut off the resin block. A little bit of mold line on it. Nothing major. His head has got a pretty good amount of detail on it. The beard is has the individual... You can feel it. It's got like the individual hair on it. Uh, so does his head a little bit. There's no real casting line or any mold on it like that. These apparently are the straps I'm guessing they're talking about and this is for on the sword this little piece right here is for this. So that comes in a white metal and not a resin and the straps that they are talking about you're having to put on different things they come as a white metal also. This arm uh, details pretty good on it. It's crisp. A little bit of mo a little bit of extra resin on it. Nothing serious. Uh, the braid on the arms is, looks good. The haversack here is molded to fit on the leg. It's got a little bit of a molding issue on it. And the binocular case is also got a little bit of a curve on it where it fits against would fit against the body. So all in all, it's a pretty good kit. It's a pretty detailed kit. This is hollowed out where the head goes down in the thing there. It's not a very big kit. I'm guessing it's a, I think if I remember right, it's a hundred millimeter kit. And that's about the size that it would be with uh, legs on it. This leg goes somewhere on it, like this. So, this leg on this one. So yeah, it'll have to be smoothed off. So I'm guessing it is about a hundred millimeter kit. Real, another real short review. Uh, not much to review on this. Details good. Everything's pretty crisp on it. A few things to cut off. The hat might be a little bit of an issue to get that big a casting block off of. But I think if you take and just use either a needle and a pin vise or the back edge of a X-Acto knife where you can just slowly work your way around it, you can only get to three sides of it and take your time. It should come off fairly good on it. Everything else is good. Looks good. This you'll have to, as you can see, you'll have to run on a sanding block to smooth it down from the raised edges on it. All in all, it's a good looking kit. Uh, go check out lastcalvary.com. They are a really good website to check out. So, And the guy is very good to deal with. He carries a whole bunch of different stuff. Well worth it. 
a good person to deal with, and that's unusual for me to give a shout out to any manufacturer. So, again, this is Terry McDade, aka the Pirate Hunter, and to quote the great Jerry Springer, take care of yourself and each other. <laughs>